Pinocchio, did you hear the news? A second COPV tank was found. What? Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. going Starling friends I wanted to make this video to give you an update to the mystery debris saga that we're seeing here in my area of the Pacific Northwest I did a video telling you about how there was a composite overwrapped pressure vessel that was found in Grant County that's not terribly far from where I am it fell in someone's backyard but wait there's more a second one was found it washed up on the Oregon coast and it's probably from that same second stage re-entry back in March SpaceX hasn't confirmed although the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office tweeted this they believe that it's from SpaceX and SpaceX says well it probably is from us so it really got me thinking you know how concerned should we be about these occurrences? Uh, and I reached out to astronomer and Harvard astrophysicist Jonathan McDowell. He's the one who originally tweeted, you may have seen his tweet because a bunch of people were sharing it, giving an explanation for what people were seeing in the Pacific Northwest sky, this crazy light show, um, you know, happening at a time where a lot of people were out and about around nine o'clock. So people were able to see it where, you know, these things happen but a lot of times they're in the daylight or maybe they're over an ocean so we don't actually witness them so he's the one who tweeted that explanation and so I followed up with him about not one but now two composite overwrapped pressure vessel tanks being found how worried should we be so this is what he had to say there, there's some risk involved and and so you're just playing the probabilities you know the starlinks themselves are designed to entirely burn up on re-entry. Uh, whereas the second stage is a larger beast and has uh, components like these pressure vessels. So they're sort of big lightweight balloons that then are slowed very quickly by the atmosphere and kind of float down. We have seen from other kinds of rockets, these sorts of pressure tanks survive re-entry quite big ones and uh, and so yeah that is that is a risk uh when one of these things land what's the probability that there's somewhere at the exact spot it hits and that probability for each of these objects is about one in ten thousand i mean i i treat this as like a rare industrial accident you know the design was right to deorbit the rocket stage and that would avoid it right deorbit things under control uh and so it's it is still the case that many rockets are launched and deliberately leave their upper stages in orbit for this kind of uncontrolled re-entry. And that can be avoided, it costs money. And so I think we need regulations that say at least in LEO and probably even for higher orbit launches, we need some stricter regulations about disposing of the rocket stages uh, uh, to, to prevent this kind of thing uh, happening as much as possible. But that still leaves the case like we had this time where, yeah, they meant to get rid of it safely, but something went wrong. You know, if this were a commercial airliner with things falling off it, you'd probably have um, a public NTSB investigation of some kind with a public report. But it suggests that there, there might be a public interest in some kind of NTSB kind of safety board for space mishaps that are not super serious but there's a public interest in understanding why they happened and how what steps are being taken to make them not happen again so i want to hear from you in the comments do you think that this should be more regulated that there should be regulations or maybe you know more money going into definitely trying to avoid these things or do you think that this is just kind of the cost of doing business and something that unfortunately will happen and it's a game of probability i want to hear from you in the comments i really appreciate when you guys do comment i read all of them and of course, I really appreciate you supporting my channel. It means so much to me for you to watch my channel and I'm making new content all the time. So there's so much more to come. Again, if you're interested in learning about Starlink and other SpaceX news, hit subscribe, hit the like, and I'll see you soon.